Hello, people. I'm Javi Kuwait, joined by Hope James and Achar Kirk. Hello. We're going to look at Tara Mani. This is starring Andrea Jeremiah and Vasanth Ravi. This also has Yuvan Shankar Raja doing something as well as Ram. Ram is the writer and director. Yuvan Shankar Raja is the music person, creator, composer, uh, human yes. being. We're doing three teasers for Tara Mani, all three back to back to back. It's a very smooth drum shot. Yeah, look at that. I love you, Sonna. Ava, model, yenna kepa. Facebook la ona kepi. Friends are the only thing out of that friends. Popular? Yeah. Ille yenna kala pa jane jo. I've tried to re- I've tried to reduce my amount of friends on Facebook. It's really hard. Come on, it's good now. Adi konjo, inge orikin pora na. Konde key la orikin, ang orikin pora na. Why? Ipper patta in the maabarum kadalan. மூணாவதா சைக்கிள் கேப்ல அந்த பொண்ணுக்கே தெரியாம அவரோட மொபைல திருட்டுத்தனமா எப்படி பாக்குறதுங்கறதுல டிகிரி வாங்குவாங்க நாலாவதா ரோடா காடானு பாக்காம பயங்கரமா எமோஷனல் ஆவாங்க ஒரு மிரட்டு அவ்வளவு மீன் பண்ற அதுக்கப்புறம் நீ அவன் எப்படி மீன் பண்ண உனக்கு என்ன நடந்து <laughs> 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 That was a cool shot. still equally as confused as I was after watching the first one. Okay, okay let's watch the third one. Please make more sense. Sara Mani, teaser moon. Send Sara Al Anumadhi Kupatta Vasanangal Mute Sayya Patta Dikirudu. Mute Sayya Patta Vasanangal. We have no subtitles this time. Okay. Yes. I bet, no, I bet no dialogue is going to be allowed in this entire thing. <laughs> Alright, move on. I feel like they're abusing her maybe, like calling her a mean name. They're not having good conversation. No. <laughs> What, oh, oh, she's taking off her slipper, she means business. Just drive away! No, she's gonna... She's gonna hit him. Make him bleed! Ah! Oh, Go, girl. Like, stab him. Dang. Good thing you are. Ooh. Oh, we got that. They were, wow. They didn't hit her back. Girl, you're ballsy. What is happening? Bastard! Oh. 
Oh, okay. I'll fucking kill you! Did you say those things to your sister? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Anything up for you? Yeah, I think I finally get it. I think what's going on here is that we're dealing with what it's like to be a modern woman in this day and age where you're dealing with this clash of ideology where it's like the new school of thought and the old school of exactly. thought. And it's like you're trying to be this modern woman who's just trying to be a functional adult, have your own sense of agency and make your own decisions as a, a person who, who is equal to a man in every way. There's a chunk of the world that doesn't seem to agree with that or think so. In that, there is this kind of uphill battle on all fronts. We're dealing with it, these clash of ideologies and so romance is different and it's more difficult. The dating scene is difficult because we don't have this uniform agreement on how things should be done. This kind of uh, taps into something I was watching I think this morning or yesterday, the millennial generation right. and how we have this huge uphill battle because of how we were raised differently and the old school and the new school keeps clashing and we're not sure where we belong. As a woman who is wanting to just own her own agency, agency yeah. It's hard. She's dealing with these guys who are assholes and speaking down to her because they think they can because they're men and they don't have any right to. And she's like, I'm gonna show you that you don't have any right yeah. to and go after them. They're making judgments about her based on like, you know, what she's wearing, where that was she's another going, thing that came up what a lot. she's yeah. doing, you know? Like, I understand that culture clash where even in Thailand, it's kind of the same. The culture is very conservative, but the new generation is kind of pushing the boundaries. There's still that school of thinking where a lot of people who are more traditional will judge you. And they're gonna judge you if you're a young single woman and you're going out to a club and you're partying with your friends and you're drinking because there is this assumption that you are a specific type of girl. And yeah. they think that they can talk to you in a specific way and that's well, not right. I mean, right. whether you're that kind of girl or guy or not, doesn't mean you should be spoken to in any particular manner. Exactly. They're remarking in here are like about her outfit and she's like, dude was freaking out about her shoulder being yeah. exposed and she's like, look, I'm wearing shorts. shorts yeah. And it's like, in the States, I think we take that for granted. We're not in the Bible belt of the, of the country, but in LA, certainly you take that for granted. I see people walking around in way less than that. Bikini tops. Yeah. I see, I see people going out to events in bikini tops yeah. and a jacket. It's like, okay, well, so, yeah, I have some I've, more clothes. I've, I saw some girl at Target <laughs> A, a department store wearing this slit all the way down and her back was completely exposed and she had these super short shorts. Was or, she cute? She was cute. Huh? Yeah, that makes it all right, doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yep. No, but like, it it takes me by surprise. And so to me, there's like a balance that needs to be struck. I think that what's happening is like, there's this kind of super edgy thing. Kind of what we were talking about in the previous thing about feminism and, and masculinity and whatnot, where you have these women who go to this extreme masculine level to prove that they can be just as strong as a dude. Likewise, here with conservative conservatism and liberalism, like people go to this extreme liberalism to prove that I own this and I, this is okay. And I think a balance always needs to be struck, but obviously what they're demonstrating here is the guys are clearly imbalanced. <laughs> they're treating the women like dog shit, for what? lack of a better word. They're like, treating them like, like property. Yes. It's like the guy who was trying to get the other guys to bother his ex. It's yeah. like, she's your ex, just let her go. I don't know who was narrating that first one, but dude was remarking about her address and judging her for who she slept with in the past and this and that, and it's like, yeah, that's, that is not good behavior. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not gonna fly in uh, the modern era with, you know, the new school of thinking. It's a very relevant story. I think we're all dealing with that. All over the world, I think mm -hmm. we're dealing with that on some level. Women want to be treated just as fairly. Uh, they want the same wage and the same, just in general, the same treatment as, as a man. And that comes at a certain, cost and that cost is we have to deal with each other <laughs> we have to deal with like some people aren't ready for that and it's like well now you, you have to be i also really like the way the the teasers were shot it looks like the movie there it looks so fun yeah it seems really edgy and mm -hmm. it's an edgy story it doesn't look like it's trying to educate you it's just being a story that like you can make your own assumption. Like it's kind of is, but like I don't feel like I'm being preached at. You like, don't feel like you're being beaten over the head. Obviously, with it, you know? I'm like pro women, but I hate it when movies try and like push that down my throat. Hey, I yep, yes. So like That's, I'm all for it. Like yeah. cool, have your message. But this yeah. one, at least like it looks fun, and yeah. I'm just like oh haha. -ha. Yeah. Like I I don't know. What you just said is exactly why I disliked vehemently The Shape of Water. Yes. Oh. Uh, I, I did not like that movie. I didn't, I didn't like The Shape of Water. Good! <laughs> yes. That's a great note to end on. Don't no! watch Shape of Water. <laughs>
<laughs> there are certain moments here where the production feels like an indie film, I can tell. But I think it's still shot beautifully. Yeah. It's shot nice. I um, love the colors, the, I love the rain. Uh, I think I would have uh, gone for a darker, con like more contrast in some of these shots, but that's a technical thing that's irrelevant. Yeah, I'm digging it. Overall, what's pulling me in to want to watch this more than anything is just the m overall message of the movie and what I it stands love the music. for. Oh, you do? Okay, cool. Yeah. So Hope has a lot to like here. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Please check out Hope James and Achar Kirk on the social media. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. Please make sure to check out Hope James and Achara's YouTube channels. Oh. Subscribe to their channels. They are uploading more content. Achara has uploaded a thousand videos in the last ten days. Oh, so, I was like, a thousand? Yeah, a thousand. She's I was breaking like, the I need records. To, I, 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 you gotta up your I got game my up, James. I have to up my game, too. Yeah, but no, so, but yeah, so. let's do that anyway. We'll just like, get together and be like, this is us eating lunch. Yeah. We'll oh it. gosh, how boring. That's, that's not boring. There's the whole audience in Korea I that will. I ate Taco Bell in Korea. my car yesterday. You should put that on YouTube. Oh. Just make sure the camera can hear you eat, and it's. Yeah, it's very relaxing for certain people.